Let me just read a bio here. Because it's a sensitive area of the world, we don't do a lot of videos and pictures and stuff, and you can understand that because um, it's not that they're undercover for God, but it's, it's a sensitive part of the world. So anyways, let me just read you the bio. It says, Amanda Candle will, will join a new uh, Live Dead team going to a sensitive country in West Africa. The team has nicknamed it Camelot. The plan to form relationships with local people and plant house churches among the unreached people in that country where 99.9, .9, listen to this, 99.9% .9 of the population is of Muslim faith. The uh, Assemblies of God World Missions Global Workers currently working there, so, so this, there are any, so, so they're breaking new ground there, and they're going to be... Uh, Going there, they're literally dying to themselves. They're giving, live dead. They're giving everything they have to go there to build relationships, to plant house churches, man, plant churches, to uh, share communion, teach about Jesus, uh, baptize those in water, baptize them, pray with them, baptism in the Holy Spirit. They are moving forward. And this young lady, uh, Amanda, I've never met her, but just in talking to her on the phone, when I got her email asking for a request to come, I was just really touched. And that's just how the Spirit of God works. L let, me, let me show you something here. So last Sunday, um, we were in, in John chapter 11. And, and, and when I talked to Amanda this week, it really quickened my heart back to what I shared with you in part last Sunday. In John 11, verse 33, you have the scenario of Lazarus dying. You have Martha coming to Jesus on the way there after he's already died. She said, Lord, if you'd only been here. And uh, those famous words, he said, Martha, um, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will, will live even if he dies, if he believes in me. What, what's the flip side of that? If they don't believe in Jesus, then when they die, it'll be an eternal death. And then he, he asked her, do you believe this? And, and then Mary comes, and Mary falls at his feet, and she says basically the same thing. In the very same spot where Martha was, Lord, if you'd only been here, my brother would not have died. And, and what's amazing, in, in John 11, verse 33, it says, When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, Mary, now this is, Martha's already been there, now it's Mary. And when he saw her weeping, it says this, verse 33, John eleven thirty three. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her also weeping because when she left the house, some other Jews came with her thinking she was going to the, to the tomb to, to mourn. When he saw her weeping, already having met with Martha, seeing the other Jews weeping with her, it says he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. In spirit and troubled. He also then, he said, where have you laid him in verse 34? And they said, Lord, come and see. And in verse 35, shortest scripture in, in the Bible, it says this, Jesus wept. Now, Jesus wept because he was moved in his spirit. Look at verse 38. Jesus, again, being deeply moved from within. So you have two things going on here. You have Jesus being moved in his spirit, which means he was troubled. He, he was he was troubled in his spirit, in the very depths of, of, of who he was, Emmanuel, God's son. He was troubled with the fall of the devil. He was troubled and ang angered and, and saw the pain, the loss of suffering that sin had caused those that he loved. In other words, he saw the big picture. People with no hope, their brother has died. Prayer was deferred, it wasn't answered. He knew he was going to raise Lazarus from the dead and that his life would bring a greater glory to the kingdom by allowing him to die and then raise him from the dead. But he saw that, and, and, and it's like Jesus gets this big picture of all of fallen humanity and all of those who have no hope. And then it says, Jesus wept over that. And then when he was moved deeply from within, that, that moved on the human side of Jesus in the, in the sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch of the now moment, 
And he was just, he was broken. He wept, man. He wept over what the devil did in the fall. He wept over the sin of humanity. He wept over those that don't know the Messiah, that he, who he did, what he did, who he is, what he was doing when he came to earth. Like he said to Martha, I'm the resurrection life. Do you believe this, Martha? Do you believe this? He's weeping over this. So what does this mean? When Jesus wept, he was weeping as God's son and he was weeping as Jesus the God-man. In other words, what this is showing us is that Jesus wept, yes, in context for Lazarus, but in general, he weeps for all of humanity who, do, all of humanity who doesn't know him. Let me tell you something. I wrote down a, a few statistics here, and Amanda's already ministered, uh, I believe she did a two-year term uh, and just got back where she was in Mozambique and, and Botswana, and she was helping plant churches through campus ministry and and um, she's worked with youth adults and now again with the live dead team she's going in there she's going to try to do something about this people group that is totally lost and needing I wrote it down somewhere so I, I must have not brought it in here with me I was just moved to get this video out you have, I think, three three billion people and 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 seven seven million different people groups that less than two percent saved. And somebody's got to go, man. Somebody's got to go. Jesus literally wept in his divine nature, within his divine nature, and with his in his humanity for the lost souls. Man, she's going. And so I'm excited to have Amanda here. Um, it's going to be a, a great Sunday for us. I won't have a, a preaching video for you because we just had this opportunity and I just wanted to bring her in. And I apologize for not being very professional at this, but I just, I was moved by this. I thought, man, I got to put this on tape and, uh, and put this out to you. So if you can join us here at uh, 1030 uh, this Sunday, uh, Amanda will be here. I've given her the whole service. She's going to share her heart, man. And I really pray that, you know, this whole coming out of the fast, this whole dynamic uh, of, of, of math in, in, the, in the gospel of Matthew 10, 8, you know, freely have received, freely give. I just want to see this world saved. And I can, you know, I can be effective in my neighborhood, but we need to send people. We need to get behind people like Amanda and help help them. Here's a young woman um, she's, she's, she's single. She's given her life to the Lord. She's approved by the, she, she's done her religious studies. She's approved by the assemblies of God. She's been out there in Africa before in the mission field. Now she's going back. She's given her life, lived dead, literally dying to herself, her own wants, desires, and flesh to reach a people group, to go in, to, to, to befriend them, to love them, to teach them, to... Uh, share the gospel with them, to baptize them. And I'm, man, I'm excited. So uh, I'm going to, I'm going to put this video up so that you can, um, it'll be out there Saturday. If you see it pop up, if you're on there, you'll see a message. Anyways, try to be here at 1030 on Sunday in live, in person. And let's listen to Amanda, man. Let's, let's pray. Let's see what God has. We're going to worship the Lord. We're going to just see what God will do through this young woman. And uh, and I'm excited. I'm excited about the day. Amen. Amen. Father, I just want to pray for everyone out there right now. I just pray for those of you that, that have, you don't have a vision for world missions. Uh, it's real. And, and I'll tell you what, every missionary, just like Amanda, they don't come necessarily from great families or missionary a family background. Some of them do because they were influenced by their parents, but they just come from babies, man, just like you and me. And God touches them. It's just like George. You know my story. I didn't get saved till I was 30, and here am I, man. And uh, I had this conversation this morning, you know, over the years of 30-plus years as a senior pastor, people, some people love you, some hate you. They agree with you. They disagree with you. It all comes back to the call. I know who Jesus is. I know the call of God in my life, and I will continue to do that. Amanda's a young woman. She's she just that's the call. It's go, go to the un, unreached people groups, 
and live, live the gospel, preach the gospel, plant the church. And uh, man, I'm excited. So, Father, I just pray for everyone out there that doesn't have a vision for missions. I just pray that, Holy Spirit, you'll touch them right now. And I pray, Lord, that they will catch a vision for world missions. It's not just home. We are missionaries in our own hometown, but faraway places. We may never go there. We may never, we might see a video on it. We'll certainly hear something from like Amanda about West Africa, but Father, we can help her go. We can pray for her. We can join join her ministry team in support monthly or one time, and we can help get her out into that field. We can pray for her support, her anointing, her safety, and and be a and and be compassionately alongside of her in the spirit as she ministers in her calling. And I just I just pray that you'll just impart that to everyone by the sound of my voice. And uh, we love you for that, Jesus. Thank you for weeping. Thank you for loving us enough to do and give your very all in all. And I pray that we on earth, as we come around you and the Spirit of God moves us in our giftings, that we'll do the same. We'll give our all for the gospel in Jesus Christ. In your holy name, amen, amen, and amen, and amen. Good deal. All right. Well, again, if you want to give to Amanda, Candle, that's Amanda Candle with a K, K A N D L E. Uh, you can certainly do that. Uh, uh, MaytownAG.com is our webpage. Go to our webpage, MaytownAG.com, and you can go to the donation. You can write in Amanda Candle, A M A N D A Candle, K A N D L E. And uh, you can just give a one time gift or pray about supporting her. And uh, let's watch God do something supernatural. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. We'll see you next Sunday.